there's some people who want to, they want to do it, but just a few. I've been working here since I was uh, working uh, 10 years old, all of us, all of the brothers, because we used to live upstairs, so my dad just give me a help. Call, they call us and we come downstairs to keep on helping him. We've been baking since about uh, 70 years from after the World War, because here it was demolished because of the war. Uh, my granddad, he used to do it as a bakery as well, before the war. And then my, it was collapsed because of the war, and then my dad built it again. What I want to say to the, to the authorities in Malta, because it's something traditional, the Maltese bread. And it's getting nobody, the government, especially called the government, doesn't recognize the original of the Maltese bread. I wish that sometime, if it's not late now, uh, they do just a, uh, a school or a class in the ITS, where, uh, where students go to train to do to become chefs and waiters. To put uh, just, uh, how you say it, a class to to originate the, the Maltese bread, because it's a traditional bread, but today uh, they, they, there's a Maltese bread, they call it, but it's made on a conventional ovens, not like ours, a traditional oven. So, it's, ours it's baked on a slabs of stone, they call it, and it's cut uh, only from goats or quarries. My eldest brother, he's retired now, my the, the, the one the middle one uh, he just finished as well he, he retired as well now I'm just alone doing the business alone probably it's going to get closed after I finish because nobody wants to keep on doing the, this kind of trade because it takes a long time and time it costs money today so the process of doing a multi loaf it takes about uh, six to eight hours to do it so from when you start until it gets to a loaf, it takes eight hours. And eight hours, it's a, a, a day, a working day.